you created a Mr. Big. You are correct. Uh, I wanted to do another band, so I uh, I found a guitar player and a drummer. I was looking for a singer, found a singer. Uh, we had an amazing manager, uh, and uh, we started writing and got a record deal, and our manager made sure we had the great tours. We played with Rush, with Brian Adams, with Scorpions, with Aerosmith, with all these great bands, and uh, we had an amazing career as a result, and uh, it was a, quite an incredible adventure. Mm -hmm. Mr. Big released nine studio albums in addition to several live albums, compilations, videos, among others. The band went on to achieve a number one hit in many countries. How do you see it all, the success of the band in Brazil too? Well, we love Brazil too. Our first time playing in Brazil was on Santos Beach in uh, outside of Sao Paulo. And it was about 100,000 people there. And it was one of the, our most memorable gigs of our whole lives. So we always have a special place in our heart for the Brazilian fans. But uh, it was quite amazing. We had number one in 14 countries. Uh, we, uh, when we were on the Billboard charts, we were in the top 10. And then Prince and Michael Jackson had a song that they were trying to make number one. And we jumped ahead of them and got the number one. So we... Uh, We didn't get in trouble for that, but I thought we would. <laughs> but uh, so we uh, we had a great, great uh, run, and we've made friends all over the world. We've played everywhere, and uh, I get uh, uh, email and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter messages from India and Afghanistan and Iraq and Iran and all over Africa and Asia and China and New Zealand and Australia and of course Brazil and all the South American countries. So we. We made a lot of friends around the world. We're very happy about that. I can see that in, in Japan, you are most, most loved. Very good. Yeah, we have incredible uh, uh, fans there. We, uh, uh, after the earthquake in 2011, we were the first band to, to go play. Everybody else canceled. But we, it was dangerous. We thought, we don't care. We want to go and play. And give an idea of life coming back to normal again. And so uh, they were very pleased that we did that. We raised $250,000 for the Red Cross for earthquake relief and uh, took a lot of people's minds off their troubles because it was very bad. And uh, we love our fans everywhere. And anytime there's a disaster or problem, we'd like to do whatever we can. And we were glad we could help the Japanese people after that quake, it was wonderful. Another work of you, uh, The Winner Dogs. Want to tell about the super power trio with Coldsen and Portnoy? That's one of my favorite bands ever. Oh, I love playing in that band. Uh, three Piece is what Talos was initially for the first 10 years or so. And so playing a three piece band is a riot. Grand Funk Railroad, ZZ Top, uh, all three piece bands. I love bands. Cream was a three piece band. So we all, uh, we all sing and we all play and we have a riot and the shows are fantastic. I love the songs and I love playing with Mike and Richie. So we're working on a new record now. I hope it's done soon. Everything takes longer during the pandemic. So we're going as fast as we can, but uh, we, we've made a lot of progress, written a lot of songs already and we'll, we're, it'll be coming soon. Mm -hmm. And how about uh, Sons of Apollo? Another great experience. Wonderful guys, Bumblefoot. Jeff Scott Soto, Derek Sherin, and Mike, and myself, uh, we have a wonderful time together. Uh, sadly, our, our latest record came out right as the pandemic hit, and it was starting to do great, too. The reviews were fantastic, and the shows were selling out, and it was really becoming a, a great situation. But I think three or four shows in, we had to stop. In your, our European tour, we had to stop and come home because of the pandemic. So that, that was an unlucky uh, situation, but... We did the right thing. We, we, we had to get home and stay in our homes and make sure people didn't gather in crowds. So uh, hopefully we can get out and perform with that uh, very, very soon. Uh, we, uh, uh, we would love to come to Brazil uh, and play uh, with uh, Sons of Apollo. That would be a riot, I'm sure. And I think you'd enjoy it very much. <laughs> Amazing.